How are we doing, folks? Your host, Moose, here on the Pit Panthers Football Network as we welcome you to BB&T Field where your Pit Panthers will take on the Wake Forest Demon Deacons. Wake Forest, tough start to the season so far, 3-2 and two overall, 1-1 one and one in conference, while the Panthers have had a great start to the season, 1-0 oh in conference after their win over NC State last week, 4-0 oh overall, and up to number four in the country with so many upsets going on. You can see they're well on their way to a potential ACC Coastal Division uh, title because so many of the high-profile schools have seen losses come already in ACC play and so we'll get underway here the Panthers will receive looking to go to 5-0 here on the young season against number 25 Wake. Kenny Pickett will lead the Panthers out the senior quarterback he's flanked by both of his starting halfbacks here and it's going to be Todd Sibley who takes the opening handoff gets a good lead block that was CJ London actually cutting through a Wake Forest defender and Sibley rumbles for 13 on first down second and eight for the Panthers Pickett back to pass he's in the pocket lets it go he's got his fullback again that's Todd Sibley and he's got first down yardage great job by Pickett he didn't roll out he stayed in the pocket and made a great play first down he checks it down it's Sibley he fights one tackler but then he is leveled that is Luis Howe gets into the backfield and brings down Sibley huge loss for the Panthers second and 18 now Pickett underneath he's got a man that's Paul Lease the junior using his legs to pick up 13 on the catch and run manageable third and five now for Pitt trips deployed to Pickett's right he's gonna roll in that direction and he's got no one open he's gonna be sacked for a loss and the Panthers will be forced to punt the ball away and they do pin Wake back in a pretty good starting position they'll dump it off here on a screen first and ten that's gonna be the halfback Johnston catching the pass from redshirt senior Jamie Newman and Roderick Johnston has a good solid game picks up first down yardage gets Wake out of the shadow of their own end zone Newman back to pass Underneath, it's intercepted, Scott Whaley, the freshman. He's been such an impact player for the Panthers so far. And from East Naples, Florida, he's been absolutely incredible for Pitt defensively. He's been sacking the quarterback. Now he's got an interception. Great job. What a play. Reaches behind himself and makes an incredible interception. And Pitt, they'll trade that field position all day. All of a sudden, they're now in the red zone already. First and 10 for Pickett under center. He's back, rolls out to his left, has time, throws it to the end zone. He's got a man wide open. That's Jay Keys for the touchdown. How can you leave the most explosive player on the Panthers offense wide open in the end zone? And Pitt takes an early lead. Great job by Pickett. He evaded the rush, rolled out, made time for himself, and Keys gets the Panthers on the board and if we look around the country huge game in the ACC on the Atlantic side Clemson holds on to beat Louisville 14 to 10 in a big matchup there Louisville no longer unbeaten and the number one team in the land Texas stays that way 37 31 they beat rival Oklahoma and Texas might be back and on their way to a potential college football playoff berth Wake Forest are looking to rebound after Pitt takes that opening lead what a drive for the Panthers that's a way to put your foot down Kenny Pickett finding Jay Keys one play right into the end zone but Jamie Newman bounces off a couple of tacklers keeps it on the read option and that's a 40 yard carry for Wake's leading rusher on the season their quarterbacks has been very good running the football and he gets good yardage there Roderick Johnson fights through a Panther tackler he's got a gain of nine and just like that Wake, Wake has marched right back down the field looking to even the scoreline on Pitt Newman he's got a man over the middle that's Tom Garcia hauling that in for a gain of 10 moves the chains for Wake they're in the red zone now at the 11 Newman Back to pass, great protection. He bounces off one man, falls forward, doesn't lose any yardage, and he'll set up second and nine. Wake running that hurry-up offense, trying to tire out the Panthers' defense. Newman's going to keep it himself on the read option. Fights through one tackler, but senior captain Jason Jordan's able to haul him down, setting up third and five now for the Demon Deacons. Go empty backfield. Newman throws it to the back of the end zone. What a catch. Anthony Mack is able to haul that in. Tiptoe grab there by the sophomore at the back of the end zone. What a throw from Newman just over the top of safety, Quell Hampshire. 
And Mack makes an incredible grab. That might be on SportsCenter later on tonight. And Wake is even the score. The Panthers now tied 7-7 with the Demon Deacons. And they don't start well here on their ensuing drive. Sibley's hit there in the backfield for a loss of three. Third and 12 now. Five wide set for Pitt. Pickett in the shotgun. He's back to pass. Has a man over the middle. That's Jay Keyes who falls forward picking up 21 and moving the sticks for Pitt. Heavier set now as Pickett's under center. They send Jay Balmer, the tight end, in motion, and they hand it off in that direction to Sibley. Great blocking on the edge. He falls forward, and he actually stays on his feet. Incredible strength there shown by Sibley, and it's a first down for Pitt. Five wide now on first down. Pickett, bubble screen right over the top of defender, and it's K.J. Welsh. Fights through a couple of tacklers. Look at the strength from the freshman, and he's got 31 yards on the catch and run. Great step back juke there by K.J. Welsh, and Pitt is right back in the red zone. Sibley's going to take the handoff on first down. Breaks through two tackles and churns forward for a pickup of five before being hauled down. Second and five now. Sibley's the side card, but Pickett is going to keep it himself. He's got a lane going forward, and two wake defenders converge on him just keeping him out of the end zone first and goal now for the Panthers heavy set Jay Keys we probably know what's coming here Keys is into the end zone his second score of the day this one of the rushing variety and you can't stop him you can only hope to contain him and wait cannot do that as it stands right now Jay Keys into the end zone for the second time in the first quarter and Pitt leading 14 to 7. Newman's going to hand it off now to Roderick Johnston. Great tackle. That's Jacob Lachlan coming forward and bringing him down after a gain of three as the Demon Deacons look to answer. Newman hands it off. It's Johnson again. Avery Heller can't bring him down. And the ball's knocked loose. Sean Wolfgang's got it. And Pitt takes the football away again. Incredible hit. That's Avery Heller comes forward, tries to get the man. And Barry Jenkins, the senior linebacker from Washington, D.C., is the man to jar the football loose. Sean Wolfgang is Johnny on the spot, and just like that, Pitt retakes the football in incredible field position yet again. Interesting play there by the Panthers. An RPO, Pickett rolling out to his right, throws it towards the end zone. Keys can't bring it, and K.J. Welsh can't get his hands on it either. Third and six now for Pitt. Tight bunch formation for the Panthers. Pickett sits in the pocket underneath. He's got Paul Lease. Great catch there by the junior. Gets them first down yardage to the 22-yard line. Sibley takes a handoff on a counter from Pickett. He's got room to roam forward, and that's a touchdown saving tackle. But Sibley has first down yardage. Pitt now down to the 11. Sibley stays in the backfield. He's going to take the handoff again from Pickett. Weaves his way through a couple of wake defenders for a solid gain of four. Second and six now for Pitt as the first quarter winds down. Two tight end set, but Pickett's in the shotgun. He's going to roll out to his right. Looks, throws, but he's knocked away. Uh, hit as he throws, and so it falls incomplete harmlessly to the turf. Third and six now for Pitt. 14 seconds left in the first quarter. Pickett back. Has a man. He's open. It's Jay Keys. Third time is the charm. And he's got the hat trick of touchdowns in the first quarter. How does Jay Keys continue to find himself open in the end zone? Look at that. I don't know if it was a zone from Wake there, but Keyes somehow found himself wide open. Pickett, great job progressing through his routes. And he's got Jay Keys again. 21 for Jay Keys, 7 for Wake Forest. Pitt leading by two touchdowns at the end of the first quarter. So Wake Forest behind the eight ball early. An incredible game for sophomore sensation Jay Keys. But Wake looking to counter. That's Roderick Johnson straight up the gut for a solid gain. Wake up near midfield now, first and 10. It's going to be Newman. Hands it off again for Johnson. Nowhere to go, though. Ronnie Baker knocks him away, and Avery Heller comes forward and clean up. Loss of four for the Demon Deacons. Third and 14 now. It's going to be Newman. Back to pass. Pitt rushes four. The pressure comes, but Newman gets it away. Curry can't hang on to it. I don't know if he was expecting a hit there or what, but he drops the football, and so Wake will punt the ball away. Pitt will take over. It's C.J. London running through a tackler. He's got room up the middle, and the most productive run of the day for C.J. London. London picks up 12 and gives the Panthers a new set of downs. Pickett looking for the end zone. This time he was trying to find Benjamin Ogden on the streak. Justin Hurd comes over and makes a great play to knock the football away. Third and nine. Pickett back to pass. The pressure comes from Wake. He just gets the football off so he doesn't take the loss. But the Panthers are going to have to punt it away. Dual halfback look for Newman. Motion. And Sean Wolfgang says, hello, Newman. Not up in here. Not up in here. 
What a hit by Wolfgang in the backfield. Newman takes a gigantic loss, and it's going to be third and very long for Wake. Pitt rushes four now on third down. Newman surveying the field. Nowhere to go. He tries to scramble, and that's Darren Toth. He leads the Panthers in sacks on the season, and he adds one more to his total. Pitt will take over after a great defensive stand. Five wide set. Pickett finds his man. That's Benjamin Ogden. Good solid pickup of nine. Great job by Kenny surveying the field there. Third and one now. Pickett hands off. It's CJ London. He falls forward on top of a couple of Wake defenders and rides the wave to pick up three and move the chains for Pitt. London stays in, but KJ Welsh goes in motion. They hand it off to him. Great blocking on the edge. Paul Lease with a couple of nice blocks. And Welsh, the freshman, has a good solid pickup of nine. Jay Keys now number nine in the backfield at quarterback. He's going to hand off to Welsh, though. They go back to the freshman for the second consecutive play, and he's got first down yardage as Pitt nears midfield. Second and 14, Pickett, play action. He's going to roll to his right, find some space. Was looking deep there. You could see he was winding up to fire one way downfield, but he's unable to get the throw off. Luckily, doesn't fumble it and instead is able to hang on. And the Panthers get 18 there over the middle. Jay Keys, but they will not get the first down, so they'll punt it away and Wake will start out with the ball at their own 20 after a touchback. And Willie Bell goes for a gain of two. The speedster tackled on the edge there by the Panthers. They don't want to let him get in space. Newman, though, looks underneath. It's Willie Bell again. Avery Heller with a good tackle. And there's a flag on the play. It's a personal foul face mask on Heller. I didn't even see it on the play. Seemed a little bit of a sketchy call by the always questionable ACC refereeing crew. But it gives Wake a first down. Newman's going to scramble here on first down. He runs through Kaiser Artis Scott and eventually He's pushed out of bounds by Cedric Granger, but he does pick up first down yardage. Wake now facing a third and 11. Newman back to pass, sets up a screen. He's got Johnson out on the edge. He's going to be pushed out of bounds. That's Damian Vector doing a great job forcing him. And so fourth and seven now for the Demon Deacons. A very good punt there. Pitt will be set up with the football at about their own seven-yard line, but they come out three wide set to the near side. Pickett's right towards the boundary. He's back. He's looking to pass. Has a man over the middle. It's Paul Lease. He's in space. He's at the 50. He's at the 40, 30, 25, 20, and nobody is going to catch him. Paul Lease, the Garden State speedster is off to the races and just like that the Panthers have blown this game wide open a 93 yard touchdown Pickett sees Lease up the middle on the seam route he outruns both of the safeties and just like that the Panthers are on the board yet again four touchdowns in the first half I don't know if we've seen an offensive explosion like this from the Panthers this entire season and just like that Wake has been left Left in the dust. They will have plenty of time though to try and mount one more scoring drive this half and that's Newman scrambling forward. Picks up about five. Second and five now for the Demon Deacons. Panthers bring the blitz off the edge. Newman though does a great job staying in the pocket and he's got Anthony Randolph for a gain of 18 into pit territory. Second and five now they send a tight end in motion. Newman setting up a screen. Beats the pressure and Johnson rumbles away. Breaks through one tackle. Jason Jordan hauls him down but he does have first down yardage a minute to play here in the opening half of play and Newman is going to be rushed up the middle they tried to set the screen up but Ryan Jacobs the true freshman defensive tackle gets the sack so it'll be second and very long for Wake they go over the middle to Johnson he fights through one tackle Artis Scott the Panthers senior cornerback is able to haul him down third and 12 now Newman back to pass he's got nowhere to go fights through a sack that Barry Jenkins should have had Jason Jordan the captain cleans it up and so Wake Forest We'll have to settle for a field goal to round out the first half of play here at BB&T Field. Your number four Pitt Panthers leading the Demon Deacons of Wake Forest 28 to 10 here on the Pitt Panthers football network. A great half of football for the Panthers. 219 yards passing. Kenny Pickett off to his most productive day through the air all season. And if he can keep that up, I don't think there's any question that Pitt will be well on the way to their fifth win of this 2020 college football season.
So we welcome you back to the Pitt Panthers Football Network, the second half of football set to get underway here. Wake Forest will take the football, trying to claw back into this contest against the Panthers, who currently lead by 18, and they'll face a third and five here on their opening drive of the half. Newman, back to pass, nowhere to go though, and he just decides to unload it. Not sure what he was thinking there, Pitt will take over following the Wake Forest punt. And it's going to be C.J. London taking the sweep from Kenny Pickett, trying to go off tackle. Cuts up the middle. Nice gain of six there for the junior out of Cornelius, Oregon. And the Panthers will face now third and eight. Pickett looks over the middle. He's got a man. That's Benjamin Ogden. Good solid pickup of ten. Pitt moves the sticks here. First down. Pickett back to pass. Looks to his left. Has a man. And no, all of a sudden it's taken away. Benny Fox jumps the route. Great job by the junior free safety. What a play he made there. I don't know where he came from. Benjamin Ogden looked wide open. He got free off of the press coverage, and Fox was waiting there, baiting Pickett, and was able to jump the route, and Wake will retake possession of the football here, moving into Pitt territory. Third and inches now. Newman hands it off of the middle. It's Roderick Johnson. Pitt gang tackles and brings him down. That's Jenkins and Jordan, the two senior outside linebackers, combining to make the stop, but Wake does get a new set of downs. It's going to be Johnson up the middle, pirouetting his way way forward picks up a gain of three third and five now for the demon deacons newman looking for the play from the sideline gets it looks over the middle has a man that's randolph but jacob lachlan gets his right hand in there and is able to jar the football loose wake force will settle for a field goal and make it a two possession game Pick it now. Back in the shotgun. Hands it off to CJ London. Nowhere to go there on first down. Loss of a yard. And the Panthers will now face third and 11. Pick it making a change at the line. Five wide receiver set for them to his left. He goes to the right instead. And it's intercepted. LaRonde Liverpool undercuts the route. And he's off to the races and into the end zone. Just like that. Wake Forest is an extra point away from making it a one possession football game. Pickett looked like he had Jay Keys near the first down marker on the comeback route. Loronde Liverpool, who had dropped into a zone, decides to just float over in that direction, makes an incredible jump on the football, pulls it in, and he was off to the races. Pitt completely stunned at this point. They go from leading 28-7 to, to now being up just eight points here in Winston-Salem and Jay Keyes throws a pass finds his tight uh, fullback excuse me Samuel Smoot underneath for a gain of five that looked like the same play that Smoot was able to catch a touchdown pass from Jay Keyes on earlier in this season good run from Sibley though he's a little slow to get up but looks to be okay as he's got first down yardage second down now for Pitt Kenny he looks he's got a man that's his favorite target Jay Keyes there picking up 11 setting up third and two for the Panthers and Sibley's right back in the game heavy set for Pitt two tight ends pick it up the middle Sibley though nowhere to go Luis Howe the do everything safety for Wake Forest comes forward and makes a great tackle Pitt punts it away and all of a sudden the Demon Deacons have an opportunity to try and tie this football game Newman goes forward there for a gain of two it'll be third and seven now Pitt brings a blitz Newman gets it off just before Whaley hits him he has to dump it off to Nick Sisk who's going to be dragged down for a very short gain and the Panthers get a great stop there forced a three and out and they'll be able to retake the football here CJ London nice spin move there he falls forward pickup of 10 and Pitt has second and inches on the plus side of the field London's going to get the handoff yet again. Goes up the middle, churns, and keeps those legs moving forward for a first down. Pitt driving with the football, currently leading Wake 28-20 to as we head to the fourth quarter on the Pitt Panthers Football Network. So the Panthers facing second and three as we get the final frame underway. Todd Sibley's going to take a handoff up the middle from Kenny Pickett. He's going to have enough yardage to move the sticks and give the Panthers a new set of downs. Second and seven, tight end set to Pickett's left. It's going to be play action. He fakes a bubble screen, looks for a man that was nearly intercepted. How great job deflecting that away, and it'll be third and seven. Five wide set for the Panthers as Pickett is back to pass. Looks, he's got Jay Keys crossing over the middle. Great catch by the sophomore and the Black Lick Estates Beast has got a nice grab for the Panthers and it's a first and goal now as London's going to take the handoff on the off tackle shotgun handoff London nowhere to go though picks up three second and goal they send Paul Lease in motion pick it under center he's going to toss to his left to Sibley nowhere to go loss of two and Pittle face third and goal 
from the six. Making changes at the line is Kenny. He's got a three wide set from the shotgun. Back, rolls out to his right, trying to create some more space in the pocket. Has him in. It's Keys again. It's another touchdown. His fourth of the day. Great throw from Kenny. And Jay Keys has got another score for Pitt. They retake a two touchdown lead. But wait a minute, folks. This play is going to be under review. And if we take a look at it, Jay Keys, as he hauls it in, he's got the right foot inbounds, but the left foot is down out of bounds at the same time. If he could have just picked that left foot up, it would have been a score. As it is, it looks like things will be reversed, and they are. Pitt has that touchdown come off the board, so Jay Bump will come in and just narrowly fit that field goal inside the left upright. Pitt is able to at least push things back to a two-possession game. Here's Roderick Johnson, takes the handoff up the middle. He's got plenty of room to roam forward. Nice gain of 22 for the Wake Forest halfback as they near midfield trying to bring this back to a one-possession game. And they're going to get a bit more help. Avery Heller is going to be called for his second personal foul of the game. Another face mask on the sophomore safety. Wake moving to the pit side of the field. Newman play action here as he's got Randolph over the middle. Big gain and a huge hit. Avery Heller lays the wood. He says, hello, Randolph. How you doing? And the ball's actually going to come back on a clipping penalty called against Wake. So the play really goes for nothing anyways. But Avery Heller says, nice to meet you. Third and eight now. Looking deep for the end zone. And it's Vector. He undercuts the route. And the Panthers play takeaway for the third time today. A huge job there as Randolph was heading for the end zone. Jamie Newman went for it all. And Damian Vector, his second interception of the season. Second of his young career. And it is a huge turn of events for the Panthers. Wake looked like they were going to make it a one possession game yet again. Instead, Pitt with an opportunity to really put things away here midway through the final frame. Good run from London. The Panthers are able to get first down yardage. Five wide for Pickett on second down. Dumps it off underneath. That's KJ Welsh takes a licking from Luis Howe but holds on to the football. Third and four now for Pitt. They've got that tight shotgun look. Pickett rolling out to his right. Nowhere to go and he has to throw it away. So a big stop by the Wake Forest defense but they're gonna have to start from inside their 10 after a great punt again by Eric Fox his third punt that landed inside the 20 on this day Anthony Randolph gain of nine though and Wake is gonna get a new set of downs Pitt brings the blitz they run it right where the Panthers defenders came from and it's a good solid gain for Roderick Johnston of six yards third and four now for Wake they bring a bit of a heavier look here's Newman's gonna keep it himself and Avery Heller Fills the gap and brings Newman down. Nowhere to go. And Wake Forest will have to punt the football away being so deep in their own territory. So Pitt, an opportunity to run the clock down. Pickett holds in the pocket. He's got Paul Lees. He's off to the races. 10 brought down at the 6. 50-yard gain for Paul Lees. Another huge change in real estate great double move from Lee's here look at this he looks like he's running a corner instead he cuts it inside on the post and he's got first down yardage for the Panthers into the red zone and down to the six two and a half minutes to play pick it out wide on the bubble to Caleb Cannon and Gronk as the Panthers uh, affectionately like to call him, isn't able to get into the end zone, so it'll be second down now. Pickett's going to hand off, though, to Sibley on the counter. He fights through a couple of tacklers. He's into pay dirt, and this one looks like it's all but over. Pitt restores their three-possession advantage with just two minutes to play here in regulation. 38 to 20. Some big news around the ACC. Georgia Tech, who was 2 0 in ACC play, loses to Virginia Tech. They get their first ACC win. Some much needed momentum before they come to Pittsburgh to take on your Panthers next weekend. Looking deep on this play, though, Bell nearly hauls in an incredible grab there diving for that one but he's not able to haul it in so it'll be third down for the demon deacons here as they look to just put something back on the board newman has a man that's jr curry kaiser artist scott went up for it and that was an incredible catch by curry nearly intercepted but they do move the chains newman back to pass pitt only rushes four great coverage there as he throws into triple coverage three panthers converged on the football and knocked it away second and ten now pitt looks like they're blitzing it's but instead they bring only three newman's got a ton of time in the pocket but everything breaks down ryan jacobs up the middle and the true freshman has his second sack of the day third and 18 now for the demon deacons 
and they run a screen, and it's going to be Ryan Lumpkin, the little-used defensive tackle, making the stop on the line. Wake punts and basically raises the white flag in surrender, and your Pitt Panthers will emerge victorious here in Winston-Salem. Another incredible game from Jay Keyes. Three touchdowns, nearly had a fourth to help the Panthers come away with the victory. Paul Lease also an honorable mention. Two incredible long gains for the Panthers. 93 yards. I think that's their longest play from scrimmage since Pat Narduzzi took over as head coach, certainly for the length of this entire dynasty. So a 38-20 win for the Panthers. Thanks so much for tuning in, guys. As always, hail to Pitt, and we'll see you very soon. Take care. Bye-bye.